a reflection on the so-called uh, declining masculinity problem. Uh, there was I was simulated to uh, give expression to this uh, small thought from listening to the uh, Sabine uh, Hoss, Hossenfield or uh, Rabbit Field um, physicist that that uh, usually does not touch on social matters giving a presentation in the terms of um, one that apparently just going on her authority basically because I couldn't really maintain it against the um, sort of bewildering um, number of um, counterclaims in the scientific journals about uh, the nature of decrease of testosterone based on a high meat, high protein diet. Uh, high meat, high protein aren't necessarily synonymous, of course. Also, Peterson, Jordan Peterson is known for, um, I think, eating almost exclusively nothing but uh, meat, which, according to what she's saying, and she pops up a picture of him in the um, video, would mean that uh, he himself is causing, um, uh, through his own actions, the very thing that he's claiming that is um, uh, most extreme and um, most intensely stupid, according to him, enemies are thrusting on the world. So um, that's an analysis basically on various chemical and biological studies and so forth. Um, I guess to take biology to its fullness, we'll have to go to uh, the theory of evolution. And in that uh, light, I would say the way it appears is that we are um, selectively breeding towards um, what you could call um, uh, no longer wild uh, beings or no longer uh, how do they call it? The self um, uh, domesticating. So, all uh, animals that have domesticated have self domesticated. So, we have this notion that uh, early cavemen domesticated dogs or some, some, or wolves and made them into dogs or something like that. Uh, but what actually happens is. Um, the fight or flight reaction decreases in a certain population through uh, selective breeding. And then you'll get a lot of low uh, testosterone animals. Like, so for instance, you know, the famous deer in Japan. Um, I think in Berkeley, if it weren't for the large number of obnoxious dogs around, it, we might have long ago had. Uh, also domesticated uh, deer. But in any case, um, domestication isn't really something that a group sort of forces on another group, like they grab into wolves and then they beat them silly or something and they domesticate them, but it's actually this um, selective breeding factor because the environment starts to favor them and then they have more um, offspring and so on. So this has been observed already with regard to this. Um, I mean, this is what Nietzsche is talking about. Well, almost the whole of Nietzsche is like um, people are selecting for the weak. They're um, more and more. There's a degeneration. There's an arc to them, this big um, uh, subject matter of the, um, you know, the degenerate art and um, the Nazi subject matter, which was already. Um, subject matter in the early, in fact, the first book on the generation is from uh, Nordau, Max Nordau, one of the early founders of the Israel movement, so, of the Zionist movement, so-called. Um, that was in some way answering some other people who were talking about um, regeneration, and basically those, some other people were uh, the French, and the French were uh, in since I think about 1870 strong uh, weaving they created a chair for the study of the French Revolution who uh, immediately um, after Marx had completed his writings took that in and made it his thesis and since the like 1850s 1860s so this or so the official state view about the French Revolution has been um, it was a class struggle 
so they applied the Marxist notion of class struggle driving the progress of history. Um, from within that um, time period, when these kind of social policies, which Nietzsche is throughout all his work lambasting, uh, an awareness, not just in Nietzsche, but I think even much more keenly if you read um, Georg Simmel, um, the great um, sort of proto-anthropologist, um, sociologist, um, um, what's the word? Um, but in any case, that student of human beings and student of society. Um, Simmel really saw keenly the situation where um, society more and more was accepting to um, breed towards the more domesticated and the more nonviolent. I think of a, of a small example. Uh, remember the Will Smith Institute at the, um, the Oscars? Um, so the idea is that he, um, the, the police in L.A. basically said the uh, victim didn't make a complaint, so they let it drop. But if we totally breed towards domestication, we can't, um, we have to have, be as just as um, specific, just as um, nil or um, null state on the um, fight or flight as those deer that you see in the Japanese example where they're just, um, you know, you also see that with like um, tortoises and stuff on or other animals on those far um, remote um, islands, right? Uh, tropical islands. But uh, we would have to be as, that's what real domestication means. So under those conditions, we would have, if we had a law that then, um, what people that are for pushing forward this movement of demasculation and self um, domestication say is that there should be um, the public prosecutor should have taken that slap case Will Smith uh, slapping the comedian um, and even though he didn't uh, raise charges himself taking it on behalf of any man or on behalf of any city, citizen in order to eradicate all violence. So de facto we have this um, Kantian das Sorga view, view which is based on the old belief in the um, Yahweh's um, sort of synthesis with the Neoplatonic uh, one which was then big in the 10th and 11th and 12th century and uh, Thomas's synthesis with uh, Aristotle who was only known in his logic until Tom, about the time of Thomas and then they got um, some other works and they made, uh, brought in his first mover and sort of wed that to Yahweh and um, the notion of the good in uh, Plato and so on, Agathos or Agathon. And um, this teaching um, strengthens and changes throughout history, which is the basic reason why we can't accept Catholicism, by the way, in this. Uh, Deenan account is that he's pretending, he's got a slogan, it's really just a slogan, oh Catholicism we take you to a place outside history that's permanent but no, if you look, the Catholic teaching has been um, changing in lockstep alongside the Western tradition as a whole for 20, you know, since it's um, existed um, so within this uh, change of ideas you also see change of the domestication status and just at that um, period of like 1870 onward I think there was an explosion in it and so blaming any single party today for things which were already underway in the past is not um, terribly cogent although it's true a, a party could quicken it in some specific way but it's a much larger movement we're thinking about here than just the policies of a specific party. Also, it's not at all clear whether it's um, a good or bad um, happening, and I think one of the big problems that we face in connection to it is that 
different uh, countries in different parts of the world are totally different uh, schedules with regard to um, say I would say especially um, some of these East Asian countries um, uh, like the Philippines and around there are on a totally different s schedule of domestication of the of the human animal than our um, elite Americans, especially if they're bred in this university, which is, um, I mean, so astoundingly spoiled to the core. But I don't mind. I like spoiled people. It's fine. Maybe it's good that they're spoiled, but it, it's, they're so spoiled that they... Um, I mean, I think it would be good if they kind of lost the strike in a way and then realized how good they had it. But they want um, like 100000 a year for sort of part-time writing papers, shit like that. Um, and like, um, I don't know, that's for the postdocs or whatever, something and something slightly less for the um, graduate school instructors. And it's just this... Um, um, wild sense of being a domestic creature which ought to um, put a stop even to that slap that last little slap as it were that's still resounding so I think we're kind of like this as a society a dog kind of gnarling with its uh, teeth its, those nasty teeth sharp teeth uh, born at, a, at a, a, um, you know, a bone with a little bit of meat on it tossing it around sustaining the pleasure of getting into this issue in a nasty uh, polemical um, counterparty way, but actually it's it's really a much um, less uh, immediately caused problem than it may appear. It's not really caused by um, a few little policy changes just now in the last, you know, three years or something. So I think we should look at it with um, a little uh, 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 less blame towards our contemporaries and a little more um, sense of uh, the vastness of the um, forces involved in this transformation.